Good morning everybody, welcome to Praise and Play and we're going to start off with Our God is a Great Big God so please join in with the actions. songs the wiggle song so let's get ready to wiggle I got it, I got it, I got it. 
So now it's time to do some climbing together. So let's play If I Go Climbing. Let's get our climbing hands ready. Let's go climbing up a huge mountain. If I go climbing, climbing, climbing. If I go climbing. going to get ready to all clap together. Let's all clap together. Ready? Let's all clap together. story today is a really special one it's all about a little boy whose name was Jacob and he helped to feed a lot of people with a very small amount of food I'll be needing your help as ever so if you listen for the times when I need your help that would be great Jacob was so excited he'd been hearing for a long time about someone called Jesus and in the morning when he woke up, he heard his mum and dad. Should we pretend to be listening to mum and dad? And they were saying, Jesus is coming today. 
Jacob was really pleased to hear that. So he went down the stairs, let's pretend to be going down the stairs, and Mum gave him some breakfast and he ate his breakfast. Shall we eat our breakfast quickly? And then he thought, I'm going to go and see Jesus. And he told his mum and his mum said, that's a good idea. I'll put you some lunch together. So she took a piece of cloth and into the piece of cloth, she put three, five small loaves and two fish. Yummy, thought Jacob. Should we say that together? Yummy. And he patted his tummy thinking about how lovely that would be to eat later. Should we pat our tummies? Brilliant. Well done. And he set off. Shall we pretend to be walking? And he walked and he walked and he walked until he saw in the distance, shall we look, a crowd of people. And he thought that must be where Jesus is. So Jacob went and he took his lunch with him and he sat down and he started to listen. Shall we be listening as well? Well done. He started to listen to Jesus and Jesus was saying the most wonderful things. And Jacob listened and listened and the day wore on and he started to feel a little bit hungry. And he looked at his lunch and he thought, mm, I really do need to eat that soon because I'm hungry. But then he heard some of the friends of Jesus talking. Should we listen again? And they were saying, what are we going to do? Should we say that together? What are we going to do? All of these people need something to eat and they haven't brought any lunch with them. So as Jacob watched, one of them went up to Jesus and said, we need to send them home. Should we say that together? We need to send them home because they haven't got anything to eat with them. And Jesus said, don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. Now, Jacob looked at his lunch and he looked around at the people. There were 5,000 people there. And he looked at his lunch with its five little loaves and two fishes and thought, well, this won't feed everybody, but it might be a start. So he went up to one of the helpers of Jesus and he said, excuse me, should we say that together? Excuse me, I've got a little bit of food here, if that would help. And the helper said, thank you. And he took the lunch and he unwrapped the cloth. Should we pretend to be unwrapping the cloth? And he looked inside and he took the food to Jesus. Jesus didn't worry that there wasn't enough. He just looked up and he said, thank you, God, for this food. Should we say that together? Thank you, God, for this food. And then he said, get the people to sit down in groups and we will start giving them food. And the friends of Jesus began to hand out some food in a basket. And there was enough food for him. And there was enough food for the people next to him. And slowly but surely, there was enough food for everybody, all from those five loaves and two fishes. And do you know, there was enough food for all 5,000 people to eat that day. And there was even food left over. Jesus had said thank you to God and God had made sure that everyone had enough to eat. And the food was delicious. Jacob ate some bread. Should we tend to be eating some bread? And he ate some fish. And he patted his tummy and said, that was delicious. Can you say that? That was delicious. And Jacob knew that Jesus had done something very special. Jesus had turned his little lunch into a wonderful meal for everyone. I hope you enjoyed that story. It's a good one. Well, imagine feeding 5,000 people with five little loaves and two fish. Could only have happened with Jesus. What a wonderful story. I think it might be time to pray. Remember we say, thank you, God. Let's pray. Thank you, God that you fed so many people with so little food. Thank you, God, that the little boy was willing to share the things that he got so that everyone might eat. Thank you, God, for your love for us. Thank you, God, 
that there are so many people in the world who want to share as well. Help us to be ready to share with others so that everyone might have enough to eat. Thank you, God, that you are always there ready to listen and that you want everyone to have all that they need. Help us to help you to make that happen. Amen. Some of you might have this. It says, Jesus gave food to people who were hungry. Draw your favourite food on the plate or cut out and stick on pictures. Do you like bread and fish like the boy in the Bible story? Well, I wonder if you do. I like bread and I like fish. So you might like to draw some pictures of food or you might like to, with some help, cut out some pictures of food and put them all on the plate. And then you can put that somewhere on the wall or, or on the fridge and you can remember how Jesus fed so many people with so little food and maybe remember too how important it is to share. Bye. Bye. It's time for our birthday slot now. Um, I'm going to sing happy birthday. Um, I'm going to sing happy birthday everyone. But if you've had a birthday in the last few weeks or you've got a birthday coming up, then perhaps your family can sing your name or you can say the name of somebody else that you know that's got a birthday in the next week or so. So let's get ready to sing happy birthday. I'm going to light the candle. So let's sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear everyone, happy birthday to you. Now let's get ready to blow out the candle, blow it out with me. And let's give everyone a great big clap. Happy birthday. Thank you for joining me for Praise and Play today and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye everyone.